In this video, we'll show you how to create a wire harness for the Makehood Arcade. This video uses a Sanwa style joystick with the cable that came with it, two buttons and the JST connectors, a mini breadboard, black insulation tape, as well as male to male cables and male to female cables. Let's start with the joystick. When you're holding your Sanwa style joystick upside down with the JST facing outward, you will know that this top pin is the ground pin, and this is very important. So now connect your uh, cable, and remember that this is the, the ground pin. Now we will need five male-to-male -male cables. One, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna wanna connect them into your connector here. Go here. And I took six instead of five. Take one out. So you got your five cables that slipped in. And again, if you follow this pin, you will see that in this case, we're gonna use the black wire as our ground wire. Now take your mini breadboard and put the ground wire on one corner of the board. And now attach the other four wires on the other side of the board. like so. So we've got our joystick connected. In order for this not to move and to make it secure, take your electrical tape and then loop around the connection. You want to pull hard to stretch it a bit so that it holds better. And this guarantees that when you're installing things, you still have a good connection. We'll put tape later on for the micro, micro breadboard. Now let's move on to the buttons. Take a button and a JST connector and connect it to the button. The order doesn't matter, so you can connect any of these metal connector as you want. There you go, connect it. Now take two male-to-male -male cables and connect them into the JST connector. Just like last time, you can use electrical tape to make sure that these connections stay and don't get ripped off. Now that you have your two cables, bring back the mini breadboard and you're gonna have one that goes on the row of the ground. So this row here is connected and then you're gonna put the other one next to the joystick, okay? So that's one button and then we're gonna do the same for button number two. Again, take your two wires, connect it, male to male cables, here, sometimes they resist a bit, there we go, tape to secure the wires. Tape to secure the wires. Brank board, one wire goes to the ground line. And one wire goes to this line. Okay. So we have two buttons and the joystick connected. And the reason we use the breadboard is, for example, we need a lot of ground, so we're using the breadboard now. So now we're gonna add the cables to go from the breadboard into the Raspberry Pi. And for this, we're gonna use the male to female cables. So for this line of cable, you're gonna want one, two, three, four, five, six cables. So one, two, three, four, five, six cables. So six wires here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one too many. And you're gonna put them on the row of the, of the pin. So right next to them. As you can see, they're right next to it. And what we're gonna do now is gonna tape these, all these headers together, which will make them very robust and will keep a good connection. So I'm gonna take them all and tape them all together. And 
And now we're gonna add one female to male, male to female wire that goes off, off the ground line. And remember, these are lined here, so they need to be on the same row. And we're also gonna do, we're gonna add a bit of tape to secure those four together. Last step, you wanna kind of bunch up the wires together so that we have a neat arcade. I'm gonna connect them together. And just so that I don't confuse anything, I'm gonna add a little bit of tape on my ground wire to remind me that this is the ground wire. So to recap, we've got two buttons, any joystick connected into the breadboard and here into the ground. And then we have a set of wires, female wires that are ready to be, to go either directly into the Raspberry Pi, or we can add another set of cables if we are far away. And this is your wire harness.